beyond the propaganda. 10 Disturbing Facts You Didn't Know About North Korea North Korea has a reputation for being one of the world's most secretive governments. Its closed-off nature and tight control over information make it a fascinating subject of discussion. However, separating fact from fiction can be challenging in this mysterious country. From the alarming human rights violations to their questionable nuclear weapons program, we're exposing the shocking truths that lie beneath the surface. Here are 10 disturbing facts about North Korea. 1. Dictatorship and Human Rights Abuse Since 1949, the Kim family has ruled this country with an iron fist, and the current leader, Kim Jong-un, has been in charge since 2011. Unfortunately, this nation has a dark history of human rights abuses and dictatorship. Even the 2019 national elections were far from free or fair. North Korea's security apparatus, which includes the Military Security Command and the Ministries of Social Security and State Security, controls the population. These organizations overlap their power and responsibilities to prevent subordinates from gaining too much influence, and many reports indicate that members of the security forces have committed human rights abuses. North Korea's human rights status is extremely concerning. There is a wide range of reported abuses, such as government-sanctioned extrajudicial killings, forced disappearances, torture, and cruel treatment by authorities. The COVID-19 pandemic has further restricted the country's worldwide presence and information flow, making matters worse. The government has taken no steps to prosecute officials responsible for human rights abuses. The international community has expressed grave concerns about North Korea's human rights record. Still, unfortunately, a significant change has yet to occur. North Korea still suffers from an oppressive government that puts its survival ahead of the rights and well-being of its people. Two, political prison camps. Prisons in North Korea are marked by dire conditions posing serious risks to the lives of inmates. Food shortages, overcrowding, physical abuse, improper sanitation, and inadequate medical care contribute to the grave situation. The government operates various detention facilities, including forced labor camps and camps for political prisoners. As NGOs and media reports highlighted, political prisoners face even harsher punishments and fewer protections than other detainees in these camps. Camp 22, or Hoer Young Concentration Camp, was one of the most notorious political prison camps in North Korea. It was located in North Hamgyong Province, near the border with China. Despite its reported closure in 2012, the camp was known for its large size and brutal conditions. Former guard An Myung Chol witnessed prisoners resembling walking skeletons, dwarfs, and amputees wearing tattered rags. Approximately 30% of the prisoners had deformities from severe mistreatment, including torn off ears, smashed eyes, crooked noses, and scarred covered faces. Even those needing crutches were forced to work. Political prisoners in North Korea endure unimaginable hardships, lacking food, water, and sanitation. They face mistreatment amounting to torture and are cut off from the world, leaving their families uncertain. Mentioning regime criticisms can lead to disappearance and imprisonment. Attempts to defect or contact defected family members are considered political offenses. Many ordinary prisoners are also detained without legitimate reasons. Three, lack of freedom of expression. Despite constitutional guarantees in North Korea, the government restricts freedom of speech and the press. Exercising these rights can result in arbitrary arrest 
or detention, especially if one expresses political opinions that differ from those of the authorities. The government has targeted discussions and dissemination of South Korean culture as anti-regime. A law was enacted in 2020 to prohibit the consumption and distribution of South Korean cultural products and speak or write in the South Korean style. Penalties include correctional labor for speaking, writing, or singing in this style, lengthy prison sentences for possessing South Korean media, and even life sentences or execution for importing and distributing such materials. Disturbingly, there have been instances of public executions for illegally selling South Korean movies, dramas, and music videos. High school students have been sentenced to re-education camps for watching and sharing South Korean dramas with classmates. In another case, a man who smuggled the South Korean Netflix drama Squid Game and sold it on flash drives was sentenced to death. Students who watched the program simultaneously were punished severely, including hard labor. Four, the three generations punishment rules. One of the most alarming and egregious human rights abuses in North Korea is the implementation of the three generation punishment rule. This shocking and heart-wrenching policy extends the punishment beyond the convicted individual to three generations of their family. Not only is the guilty party condemned to a lifetime of imprisonment, but their parents and grandparents are also forcibly sent to join them in prison camps. This means that families are torn apart and subjected to the harsh and oppressive conditions of places like the Kechon internment camp, a labor concentration camp. The second and third generations born inside these camps live and die without ever experiencing freedom. It is a devastating policy that inflicts immense suffering on innocent family members who may not have committed wrongdoing. The impact of this punishment is far-reaching as it extends to distant relatives such as cousins, nephews, grandparents, and in-laws. The fear and despair are so deeply ingrained that even speaking out against the regime can lead to further punishment for multiple generations. As one North Korean woman bravely shared with Sonny Efron of the Los Angeles Times, if they find out I have talked, 10 generations of my family will be punished. Five, state-imposed ideology. The North Korean government imposes a pervasive ideology called Juche, which advocates for self-reliance and unwavering loyalty to the regime. This ideology is deeply ingrained in the minds of its citizens through relentless propaganda campaigns, starting from early childhood within the state-controlled education system. Juche, a term that roughly translates to self-reliance, is a complex amalgamation of various influences. At its core, Juche asserts that North Korea must maintain a distinct and separate existence from the rest of the world relying solely on its strength and the guidance of a leader often elevated to near godlike status. Juche's interpretation and relevance have changed due to North Korea's leadership demands and goals. While it remains unclear how much the regime truly believes in Juche, or whether it's primarily a propaganda tool, experts on North Korea suggest that the indoctrination into this ideology runs deep within the country. 6. Strict Social Control The daily lives of its citizens are tightly controlled by the government, which implements strict control measures that limit their movement within the country and between cities. Curfews, mandatory public displays of loyalty to the regime, and surveillance systems are in place to ensure compliance. When it comes to freedoms of peaceful assembly and association, the situation is grim. Although the Constitution supposedly guarantees the right to peaceful assembly, the government disregards this provision. It prohibits public gatherings that are not pre-approved and under its control. Similarly, while the Constitution acknowledges freedom of association, the government fails to uphold this right 
Information about independent organizations is virtually non-existent as the government establishes and controls most associations. Professional associations primarily serve as tools for government monitoring and control over their members. Seven, restricted freedom of religion. North Korea's restrictions on religious freedom are severe and pervasive. While the Constitution acknowledges the freedom of religious belief, it is heavily constrained by provisions prioritizing the regime's interests. Engaging in religious activities outside state-sanctioned organizations can result in arrest, torture, imprisonment, or even execution. Over 71% of the population claims no religious affiliation, reflecting the government's tight control over religious practices. Christians and shamanism are specifically targeted, with arbitrary arrests, torture, and executions being common occurrences. Open Doors USA estimates that tens of thousands of Christians are currently in prison. Persecution is intense, with a constant fear of capture or death. Reports have documented over 1,400 cases of religious persecution between 2007 and 2020. As a result of its violations of religious freedom, North Korea has been designated a country of particular concern since 2001, which has resulted in international sanctions. Eight, limited access to information and technology. In North Korea, access to information and technology is severely restricted, which is deeply concerning. The government exercises strict control over media censorship, leaving no room for independent outlets or investigative journalism. The Propaganda and Agitation Department tightly regulates all forms of media, ensuring compliance with official messages. Ordinary citizens are prohibited from accessing foreign media, which has severe consequences. Radios and TVs are limited to domestic programming, although elite individuals and facilities for foreigners can access international satellite broadcasts. Internet access is also limited, primarily granted to high-ranking officials, designated elites, and select university students. Government employees may have monitored email access, while monitoring programs are installed on smartphones and tablets to track online activity. A watermarking system was introduced to track and reduce the spread of foreign content, and authorities conducted random searches for illegal media. Nine, forced labor and child labor. Forced labor and child labor are pervasive issues in North Korea. The government mobilizes the population for compulsory labor, often imposing it as a punishment for political offenses. Forced labor is prevalent in logging, mining, agriculture, manufacturing, and other industries. Workers are subjected to grueling conditions, working long hours with little rest. The government strictly enforces a law requiring all working-age citizens to work and observe labor discipline. However, Numerous reports indicate that farms and factories fail to pay wages or provide adequate food for their workers. In addition to internal labor exploitation, North Korea sends workers abroad, primarily to Russia and China, where they continue to experience forced labor and surveillance. Child labor is also a concern, with reports of children being sent to labor camps and forced to work alongside their parents. Although the law prohibits work by children under 16 and restricts hazardous work for those aged 16 to 17, enforcement is ineffective. Schools sometimes require students to work on farms or factories without compensation, and orphan children are vulnerable to exploitation. These practices violate international standards and human rights norms. Forced and child labor in North Korea perpetuate human suffering and contribute to the regime's economic activities. Ten, nuclear weapons program. 
North Korea's nuclear weapons and missile programs cause serious concern. Despite UN sanctions and diplomatic efforts, North Korea continues to advance these programs. Recent missile tests and military parades indicate their pursuit of a nuclear warfighting capability to evade regional missile defenses. This raises questions about crisis stability and escalation control. Despite calls for denuclearization, North Korean leader Kim Jong-un sees nuclear weapons as crucial for his rule and has no intention of abandoning them. North Korea has even expanded the conditions under which it would use nuclear weapons. In response, the U.S. and South Korea strengthen their joint military efforts. North Korea has conducted multiple nuclear tests and reportedly continues to produce fissile material for weapons. Experts estimate they may have produced enough material for 20 to 60 warheads. They are also working on miniaturization to fit warheads on missiles, including intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs. North Korea has tested various missiles, including ICBMs, that can reach the whole U.S. continent. They also develop short and medium range missiles with greater mobility, precision, and potency. These advancements pose acute threats to neighboring countries. North Korea's missile program aims to develop capabilities to overcome regional missile defense systems. They have also progressed with submarine launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, potentially countering land based defenses. These tests strengthen their regional nuclear deterrence strategy. The situation calls for continued vigilance and international efforts to address North Korea's nuclear ambitions. And that concludes our list of 10 disturbing facts about North Korea. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Thank you for watching.